Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in high definition. More and more women say they're turning to voice coaches to help them get back ahead get ahead at work. Being heard can be a challenge for some and sometimes it's a real obstacle to success. Giovanna Lara joins us now with some expert tips on how you can use your voice to be more effective. Giovanna? Ellen, when you get ready to leave the house, do you put a lot of thought into what you're wearing? Well, chances are you put more effort into how you look and a lot less into how you actually come across to others. But how women use their voices can help or hurt them at work and at home. Here are a few tips on making sure your voice is heard. Molly Hooper has plenty of faith in her ability as a reporter, but recently she felt her voice was working against her. It was imperative that I actually was able to get that question out and do so in an authoritative way so that the leaders would actually respond. So on this day, she comes for her third session with voice trainer Susan Miller. The voice is an instrument and we need to learn how to use it. Some of her tips speak in active declarative sentences, not tentative thoughts, and speak slowly and confidently. If you speak too quickly, your message really isn't understood. Keep your voice at a lower pitch and steady in volume. Women also tend to inflect the sentences upward at the end. So you might say something like, I would like a cup of coffee, instead of I would like a cup of coffee. If your voice is steady, you won't sound tentative and unsure like this woman. With the vision of what I could bring to the client. Pause between thoughts rather than inserting fillers like ums and ers. Um, I would order their, okay, um. And finally, don't over explain. People get bored. They feel that you're not direct enough. Hooper says she used to speak too high and fast, which made her sound unsure. I think that I give uh, a better impression that I do know what I'm talking about. And I think I'm very successful at it. So while she's always been confident in herself, now she sounds that way to others, too. Now, voice training isn't cheap. One of Miller's three-hour sessions costs $750 and usually requires two follow-ups. But for a more affordable way to perfect your speaking skills, look for a Toastmasters club in your area. David? Interesting. Thank you, Giovanna.